keep this up. We did it! Come on! Hey! Let's keep this up! National Defense Forces attacked us. They won't get me today. I'll just break on through. We did General Karin is this way. It would be smart not to get near him. down over there. Naki? <sighs> Nagi, what's wrong with you? Uh, Naomi. Hey, the snap other... out of it. <sighs> I swear loyalty to New Himuka. Nagi? Yuito? Another? Other. Other. My head. Nagi? Are you okay? Yuito, help Kasane. I'll get Nagi out of here. Got it. Let's go, Kasane. Leave it to me. What's going on? Do you know, Kasane? I'll explain later. Just do your best to survive. Sonic! <laughs> 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 
doing okay. That's close. Do what you want. Good. Captain Seto, Kasane, thank you. Uh, you saved us. Oh. Are you okay? Uh, yes. What? Do you feel sick? You're really spaced out. Don't worry about me, I'm fine. Anyway, let's go to Karin. Go to him? Can we beat him? No, he's not our enemy. But he attacked us. No. I found out about Naomi. It's... Nagi! What are you doing? No questions. I will dispose of you. <sighs> ah! Nagi! <sighs> now I understand. Nagi, you're... Get out of my way, Captain! I can't do that. Nagi, you don't want to kill Yuito. If you do, you'll regret it! <sighs> Nagi! <clears throat> then you will die! <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> What's wrong? My power. Could it be resonating with Kasane's?
is this place? Uh, uh, Yuito. Are you all right, Kasane? Yes. <clears throat> Where are we? Hey, that's the Sumeraki Crest. And that man over there is dressed like the legendary Yakumo Sumeragi. Damn it! What the hell just happened to us? But where's... Kasane! <gasps> Hanabi! Are you okay, Hanabi? Yeah. Huh? Why is this happening? Finally. Found you. Sugumi! Thank goodness. Are you all right? I... am fine. Captain Seto! No, it's too late. You're all right. Gamma, what do you want? You still want to fight? Not after that earthquake. No one has the will to fight. Earthquake? You don't remember? After we were attacked by Major General Karin, there was a really big earthquake here. I didn't notice at all. It must have been while I was unconscious. Look at that sky. What is that? There's some kind of gravitational anomaly happening there. Our fellow OSF got sucked in with the debris. I projected my sight inside, but couldn't see anything. It's dangerous to get close. Also, the fire is spreading this way. We won't make it unless we leave now. Okay. Gemma, we'll call a truce for now. Let's get out of here to better assess the situation. All right. Wait, what about Captain Seto's body? We can't just leave him here. I'll carry him. Let's move to our hideout for now. Everyone, follow me. I wonder if Kasane is okay. And what about that image I saw? What was that? I borrowed the freezer in the back of the warehouse next door and put Seto's body in it. Thank you for carrying him, Gemma. Don't mention it. First Naomi, then the captain? I knew being in the OSF was dangerous. But this? You're right. All this infighting. You were involved in that infighting too, Gemma. What's happening? Tell me if you know. How did things end up like this? It's all Major General Karin's doing. He said that the new Himuka government is trying to create a controlled society centralized around the Suo capital. That's consistent with what I've seen and heard. A controlled society? What's that mean? For example? 90% of all psionics will be drafted into the OSF with no right to refuse. The draft uses the results of the annual health checkup, which we also can't refuse. There are countless surveillance cameras in the city. Not many people know this, but the cameras are also equipped with sound recording. It's how they find and arrest dissidents. In the new Himuka regime, that's just the tip of the iceberg. This is an open secret. 
but there are some in the OSF that suddenly go through changes in their personality. They were all critical of the regime, so the rumor is that their minds were manipulated. Manipulate the mind? That might be what happened to Nagi. Major General Karin said he would stop this control of the people and he would expel the government dogs from the OSF. Government dogs? Is that why he attacked Captain Seto? Yes. He said Seto was taking part in the government's personality rehabilitation. He showed me the evidence, but I still couldn't believe it. That's why I confronted Seto, so I could talk to him. Captain Seto? No. It looked like he was trying to keep Nagi with us. Captain Seto wouldn't have done that. That's not who he was. Wait, Sugumi. Gamma knows that too. The evidence he saw was that convincing. Yeah, but it didn't look like Seto was involved in the government's plan. And then there was that strange hole in the sky, an earthquake after you were attacked by Major General Karn. That wasn't ordinary. Several OSF soldiers were sucked into that hole. Even then, he wouldn't stop his plans for rebellion. That made me question him as well. So that's why you called the truce? Yes, this isn't a simple rebellion. Something's not right. I need to know what it is. The rebellion I was part of took Seto's life. Yuito, you trust Gemma, don't you? But he didn't trust us. Sugumi's right. I should have been more careful. Will you give me the chance to learn the truth? I want to know if he really started this rebellion for the sake of the people. I want to know too. I'm curious about that hole in the sky as well. So let's go to Suo together. There must be some clues. Sugumi, can you accept that? No, I can't. But if he apologizes, I can see it through somehow. Right. I should have been more careful. The truth is, I let my indignation get the best of me. I'm sorry. I owe an apology to Seto, too. Oh, it's too late. Apology accepted. Okay, let's rest a bit and then go to Suo. I don't think I've spoken to Hanabi lately. What Nagi did to Captain Seto. I saw it with my own eyes and I still can't believe it. What happened to you, Nagi? Are you sure?
Sugumi, can we talk? Huh? Talk? Sure. Oh, are you busy? It's okay if you are. N no it's fine. I just wasn't ready. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't have to apologize. I'm sorry for showing up so suddenly. But... I'm sorry. Don't apologize, really. I'm not good at chatting. I just can't think of what to say and I get all quiet. I feel like people get uncomfortable when they talk to me, so I always apologize. I don't feel uncomfortable at all, so don't worry about it. Talk as slowly as you need to. Thanks. So, did you want something? Oh, it's not that important, but I saw you watering the flowers at OSF headquarters before. I wanted to ask you if you like flowers and plants. Yeah. Gardening is my hobby. I've grown lots of plants since I was little. Wow. Gardening sounds fun. There were a lot of plants in my garden at home, too. Your garden... is probably big. Yeah, I bet taking care of it was hard. We've kind of let it go lately. That's too bad. It is. There were all kinds of flowers before. I used to enjoy spending time looking at them. Oh, Yuito, you like plants? Huh? Well, I suppose you could say I do. I've never actually grown them myself, though. What kind do you like? Flowers or decorative shrubs? Big trees are cool, too. Hmm. Well, if I had to choose... Oh, right. There were these beautiful white flowers in our garden. I liked those. They seem kind somehow. They only bloom for a short time, though. Do you know the flower's name? No, I don't. The old gardener who planted them quit a long time ago. Hmm. Sugumi? Why are you so quiet? I think... I can find that flower. What? You can do that? Mm-hmm. I'm good at investigating plants. It will be faster if I have more information. Information? Oh, you mean like the flower's characteristics? Um... I think it bloomed in the winter. Mm-hmm. What else? Tell me exactly what it looks like. The petals are small and kind of pointed. And the tips of them are tinged pink. The leaves were oval, long, and thin, and kind of came up around the bottom. It was about this big. Does that make sense? I get the idea. Now, do you remember the number of petals? That's a small detail, so you might not. Yeah. I'm not so sure, but I think it was about six? No, wait. Maybe seven. Yeah, it was seven. I think. You have a good memory. That's plenty of information. I'll look into it. I'll let you know when I know the name. Thanks. I'd be so happy if I could see that flower again. Hey, Sugumi? No, this is... Lanceolate. Smaller and cyclic. It doesn't look like she can hear me. I guess she really does like plants. Hmm. She's really focused. I'll leave her alone. from last time? Yeah, we said we'd talk again sometime. How about now? There's something OSF related I wanted to talk to you about. Okay, let's go to Masubi's. Back when I was a cadet, I thought that fighting in the OSF as children of the state would mean doing good. I'd defeat the evil others as part of the heroic OSF. But things aren't really that simple. I know. Everyone had their own motives. I never imagined the OSF would be fighting each other. 
What is the right thing to do? It's something I really need to sit down and think about, but I don't know. You're right. I get uneasy about it too sometimes. Although, I think it's better to take action than let worry consume you. You have such a positive attitude. I don't know if that's positive. I just think it's better than being kept in the dark the whole time. You have to gather as much intel as you can before something happens that can't be undone. <sighs> You're so sure of yourself. You're like Kasane in that way. Really? Yeah. Even if you two don't agree, you both are so sure of yourselves. I think that's really strong. I'm the same class here as both of you, but I'm always hesitating and worrying. If you didn't push me, I think I would have given up a long time ago. You always saved me too. I wouldn't have made it this far if it wasn't for you. I'm happy to hear you say that. But you don't need to placate me. I'm not placating. You're always so cheerful. You push me to keep going forward. As kids, you always cheered me up when I was feeling sad. I wouldn't be here without you. I know it's just flattery, but it's still a little embarrassing. It's not flattery. I'm genuinely grateful. I need you. <sighs> Do you mean... But not just you, Hanabi. I guess I need everyone by my side. Oh, right. Friends are important. Yeah. There's so much to think about, but you get stuck in a rut when you don't confide in people. So feel free to talk to me or anyone else when you need to. I'm sure we'll be able to help you somehow. Yeah, I mean, talking to you has helped. Well, I'm heading back to the hideout. Okay, see you later. Thanks for listening. There still seems to be something on her mind, but at least she cheered up a bit. I don't think that's true. I'm not built to be especially kind. You don't even realize it. That's what makes you cool. Oh, I, um... Don't take it weird. I just think you're cool as a friend. Recently, I've been thinking how much I've gotten to know you. 